After doing our uh, first step and our first brake drill, now we're going to take it a little bit step further uh, and working on our brakes and our reeds coming from different angles. And so what, we're going, what we do here in this next drill, this is like our four corner, our station drill, uh, where we're just going to set up a bunch of cones. When we do this station drill, we usually use five. You can use how many ever that you want. Uh, but what's going to happen is we'll start all of our outfielders in one spot. Uh, now I will have a pitching machine back here throwing baseballs and they'll be shooting baseballs into the middle of all those cones. So from that corner right there he's going to have a good stance and he's breaking over his left shoulder in a, almost a 45 degree angle to the ball. After he catches there, now he'll go back behind him to that back cone. Now he's breaking in at like a 45 degree angle to those balls. And then after he catches there, he goes to the next cone where now he's breaking into his right on a 45 degree angle, coming up to the cone in front of that one, breaking over his right shoulder at a 45 degree angle. And then we'll come directly in front where now he's breaking behind him. Because uh, the one where you're breaking going behind is the most difficult one to get to. So we want to make sure that he's getting up and over his head, uh, doing a good job with his brakes back. Uh, but as I said, you can put in as many cones as you like. You can put him in so he's coming from the side, coming directly in, whatever it is that, uh, that you want to be working on. So uh, I'm going to get set up here behind the machine and we'll start shooting some baseballs at him. Mike gets a good drop step, getting to the spot behind the ball, catching it above his head. And it's a great drill because you can do multiple guys that, uh, you know, you get through a lot of reps at once, especially using a pitching machine because now you're going to be accurate. You take the human flaw out of the fungos from coming, and now he's going to get a lot of reps at a lot of different baseballs. So now he's behind him. Now he's going to be breaking in on a 45-degree angle. You can see as he steps, his first step is key. He does a great job of breaking on the baseball. Uh, he'll, just, he'll step directly at the angle where he's going to. He's not going to be running around at all. Once again, just catching the ball above his head, getting to that spot. He comes in making that play, and we'll talk a little bit about that later, how we dive and get up. Once again, we try to shoot all the baseballs to the same spot. Always getting to the spot, trying not to drift. And from this drill now, as I said, you're working baseballs coming from all different angles. So he's getting breaks in from the corners, getting breaks in from the angles, over his head. Give him a little break to get his breather here. Now from here, you should see a good drop step with his right foot now where he'll be going back over to his 45 degree angle over his right shoulder. Extending out. You can see how when he reaches right there, his thumb is pointed down to the ground. It's not turned backwards up to the sky. Uh, that's how we want to try to catch that ball up over our shoulder running into the gap. It's a lot easier to catch. Doing an excellent job getting those jumps. You can see with uh, by doing this drill, you can have guys set up at all the different cones. Everybody works in one cone, then goes to the next. So now you're getting a little break in between. With one guy out here, he's working pretty hard. Okay, now we're going to go directly back up over his head. He wants to try to break with his glove foot up over his head, and he wants to try to get to the spot. 